focus on the three main disruptors in this area is quite uh, you know, challenging. There would need to be more than three, but you ask for three and I would say that in my view, uh, in the treatment of patients uh, with drugs, certainly the impact of immuno-oncology and hence the so-called checkpoint inhibitors, the immune modulators, will bring about a tremendous change which is actually to be paralleled by an, uh, an increase in the technologies that uh, uh, focus in the area of radiotherapy and nuclear medicine treatment. Uh, the three areas actually are very much intertwined one another and I think that this will become something important uh, in the future. These are not three areas independent one another, but they can be bridging one to the other and henceforth representing a continuum of treatments in the armamentarium of uh, oncologists. Uh, that's my view for the future. Well, industry should go out of the uh, lines of development uh, uh, longitudinally, but look at this, uh, at these three areas of major interest uh, as, uh, you know, the same area of development. So thinking about technologies to be developed uh, uh, in combination. The future is of combinations and uh, 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 these are combinations in parallel, which is at the same time, but also combination uh, longitudinally, one after the other. This would hold the greatest promise, I think, especially if you couple it with the uh, dynamic, dynamic um, uh, uh, sequencing of the genome, henceforth uh, technologies like NGS that will just say what is happening to the tumor on that patient and how that tumor is evolving under the pressure of treatment. Industry certainly has a great uh, task in culturally showing to the patients that what industry is doing is to their actual benefit. Uh, patients are now uh, the protagonists of uh, uh, treatments. They are much more involved than in the past in, uh, 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 in the medical uh, evolution of treatments. So they own their own health and they want to be part of it. And industry has to foster this, uh, this environment, this climate. In terms of industry-academia collaboration, that's an inevitable uh, aspect of the future. Industry needs academia for positioning their technologies in the best way possible. The two areas depend one another and the future of the patients depend from this collaboration. So I think it is a must.